Show standard mirrors. Standard mirror. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, so over on the mirrors now, you can see that we have a, a, what you would normally see if you had a smaller display. So as a result, it's a, it's a lot smaller. Even that uh, the amount of information is a lot uh, is not as not as great. Uh, same deal over uh, over here on the, the rear view display. Um, all of this is now uh, you know it would be there's not as much information available to the driver. So I'm going to show switch back to the full mirrors. Show full mirrors. Full mirror. One thing I'd like to highlight is uh, even with the, the rear view mirror, uh, I don't see you guys. Uh, it's, uh, my attention is on the, the road, it's on uh, um, the vehicle, uh, on what's behind me. We're using E Horizons uh, um, curve speed indicators. So as a result, uh, um, as we come in close to a, to a curve, it's going to provide us a warning, letting us know that there's a, uh, you know, there's a problem. We've set it to, uh, to senior mode, uh, as well as uh, icy conditions. So it's going to warn us uh, quite frequently, uh, just to, uh, for the benefits of, uh, of being able to show this uh, as often as possible. So you can see the max speed there is uh, 15 across the corner. Yeah, we're going 34. So it's, uh, it's showcasing that uh, there's, you know, there's a problem. So uh, being able to provide this uh, additional input um, with, with the sensors allows us to make better decisions um, whether or not we're going to uh, actually uh, turn the vehicle slightly to be, to, uh, to be in the lanes or be able to, uh, um, to as, you know, as I mentioned, the seatbelt pretensioners or the, uh, um, the adaptive cruise control. As, you know, as all of these systems are now available under one, uh, under one platform, you have the ability to, uh, um, to utilize uh, more and more uh, um, you know, you script actions. For example, uh, when you go into reverse, there's no reason why you couldn't move the the mirrors down uh, down slightly, uh, so that you uh, you highlight the the curves. You know, and using the QNX operating system allows you to have the the sensor fusion and be able to uh, uh, manipulate the uh, you know uh, whether or not to, you want the uh, the speakers to be connected to, or sorry, the microphone to be connected to uh, uh, the speech recognition, or whether you want it yeah. to be uh, to be filtered into uh, cool. the Siri or uh, Google Audio or whatever you would like, a Google Voice.